Michelle, welcome to Illinois and Garden Zone 5. So we have a beautiful night here. It's about 70 degrees, totally unseasonably warm. So I thought this would be a good time to come out and get the chicken wire off of the rose bushes, get some leaves cleaned up. I've already done it a few times, but they keep coming back. So I'm gonna get those cleaned up and just do a little maybe pruning on some of the roses if they need it. Not much though this early. I'm, I'm not gonna start on it yet. I'm just gonna wait, cause last year I did it a little bit too early, I think, and I wanna wait and see how they look. I did go shopping over the weekend, this past weekend, and bought some spring bulbs. And so I did plant those up in the window boxes. So I want to show you some spring container ideas. And also, are you looking for some summer container ideas. I've got some inspiration for you. I also have some pretty container ideas if you're looking for some new container ideas for this summer. So let's get going. Well, that was a satisfying job. I've got a whole half thing of leaves. I've got all of the wire taken off of the rose bushes now. It's starting to look more springy. Let's go inside now and talk about containers. The first ones up are daffodils, but before we get started, I wanted to tell you, if you are not part of our community, please think about subscribing and joining. Uh, every week I post in our community post, and this week I actually posted that I seen my first flowering daffodils here in zone five almost a month earlier than last year. So I was so excited to see that cheery yellow color because it's a sign that spring is coming. So let's start with those beautiful flowers today. So you can head over to your local garden center, wherever you purchase your plants at, and you can pick up daffodils, usually in four inch pots, six inch pots, and they'll always have, at least I've seen, a variety of different daffodils to choose from. Get you a mixture of different daffodils and then come home and put them in your beautiful container to put outside. Of course, that immediately gives you the feeling of spring. Next, let's talk about tulips. I like this arrangement with the yellow tulips and the grape hyacinth with the branches loosely wrapped around it to mimic a bird's nest. Now I think you could really replicate this if you had an old grapevine wreath or purchased one um, out thrifting and you kind of pulled it loosely apart and wrapped it around the top of your container like this. It would give you that same effect. Another um, arrangement I thought was pretty that would be easy to replicate are these pink tulips with the purple violas in front with the variegated ivy hanging down. This would be something that you could get at your local garden center and put all together in a beautiful container to give you that spring color. We have a lot of violas and pansies in our area in Garden Zone 5, so I have some options here. Or how about these purple ones in the basket? Now you could thrift the basket, buy a basket new. Uh, do you have an old Easter basket you could repurpose and put your violas in? Now this should give us all inspiration. For those of you that aren't familiar with Klaus Dalby, he is a gardener on Instagram and YouTube. So you'll wanna check out his site, but look at his spring bulbs that he put out in his pots out front. Later spring summer plant combinations. This first one I thought was really pretty and this is two super tunias from Proven Winners. It's the super tunia bardo which is the purple color and then the super tunia silver which is the white color. Then we have the super bina plum wine weaved in there and that just makes a really pretty combination. Next we have it's called crisp and clean and we have an angel wings sea cabbage in the middle with that grayish green soft off-white tone and then some super bean up pink cashmere as our spiller and then white licorice as a spiller now in this container 
It's called Butterfly Heaven, and it's called that because the middle main thriller plant is lilac chip, lo and behold, butterfly bush. So the Superbena Scarlet Star is on each side, and you can change that for pink or purple Superbena or that plum color Superbena. And then they added the Super Bells White Calbercoa, which I always call those little mini petunias. And of course, they come in all different colors. So you could really customize this um, container arrangement to whatever color palette works well in your garden. Another pollinator attractor is Voice of an Angel. So our thriller plant is Rockin' Deep Purple Salvia, and then we have Vivid Orchid Supertunia at the front of the arrangement in that pretty purple with the white frilly edge petunia. And then on flanking each side of it, we have a Safari Dusk Phlox, and a white licorice. Sure. So you've got those beautiful flowers and now you need a planter to put them in. First, I wanted to show you a little bit of DIY inspiration before we get into the planters. Now this first picture that I came across, I thought was really pretty because it gives you um, quite a few different options in planters. Now, a, some of these you may already have at home or you may wanna go thrift for. One is, of course, right up front there, that wicker basket. And you can usually find them pretty reasonable when you're out thrifting. In this next picture, we have a variety of terracotta planters, different sizes, shapes, textures, but they're all the same color palette. I think they go really well together. And then at the top of the stairs, they put in a pop of color in that apple green ceramic planter it looks like. But I think you can combine all those very well, even though they're not the same container, because if you notice the color palette on the flowers, they're all very similar. So it ties it all together very nicely. Now on this next one, I thought for those of you that are working with a smaller space and just need a cozy corner, would this not be a cozy corner? And the first thing that caught my eye when I seen this picture was, of course, the little basket um, up front there uh, with the flowers in it. And then it just pulls your eyes in and you see the galvanized uh, buckets off to the one side and the watering can and then as you're looking up they've got little um, pots little clay pots little metal pots some more wicker so just a variety of different things that they've put together to make that just a real inviting place to sit down and have a cup of coffee or your favorite drink a few new options for containers if you're in looking for something new to add to your garden this year. Now I found these on Amazon and they do look like they're um, like stone, but they are not. They're made out of resin, so that makes them much lighter weight to move around and they do come as a two pack. Another option was this concrete and it is really concrete. It isn't a resin, so it would be heavier. And I thought it would be really pretty out in the garden. I liked how it set lower and you could put a lot of different combinations in that. These I really liked and they came in two different colors, the scalloped edge outdoor planters from Pottery Barn. You can get them in the faded terracotta color or the moss green terracotta color. So you could do a lot with this by getting you um, some of the different sizes and creating an arrangement. Got your great container, so you need the workspace. Let's talk about some DIY potting benches. Now, you may have something already at home that you can repurpose into a potting bench, or you may need to go thrifting for a potting bench, or I also will show you some links to some new potting benches. So this first one that I found was on Amazon and it is in green, but there was other colors that this came in and it has two open shelves. Next, it has a couple cubbies on top and then a shelf on top of the cubbies that you could actually um, use to put plants on. What I wanna show you is this pretty white one. It has multiple shelves on top to display stuff and I can visualize like clay pots all along there. Those scalloped clay pots that I just showed you. Could you see a bunch of clay pots lined up on those shelves, maybe with some geraniums in them, some ivy in them. That would just be beautiful. So that's a pretty option and that did come in other colors also. So those are new ones on Amazon and I'll link them below. But now let's look at some creative DIYs to get you inspired.
more garden inspiration, check out these videos next.